So uh, I just landed here at Oakland Airport in the new airplane 412 Carol Whiskey. Got a bunch of stuff taken off. I came in here because my wife wanted me to go get some stuff at Ikea. So I had to land here at uh, Oakland International to go get the wife a few things. Let's put it this way. She gets what she wants, but she's awesome. Anyway, no more later.
Well, here I am in McAllen. Just landed. And I'm here, I'm going to keep it at McCreary Aviation for the evening. It's too hot to keep flying. But I'm in good company. Got these other airplanes here. There's our bird. Okay. Parked in good company here with these other Learjets. So we're here for the night. Back down. Lots of airplanes here. Veracruz just pulled in. I love a flight, it's scary. So I'm here in Veracruz. After a long day of flying, I flew out from the Calan and got out here to Veracruz for about five hours. Crazy day of flying. I think it was the first 
time that I've flown that I really thought this is kind of crazy. I got into what's called a whiteout effect and got into a mode, I think it's called Coriolis effect, where you kind of lose your spatial orientation. It was kind of weird, but uh, my training kicked in and uh, we got through it. So this is the hotel room I'm in. It's called the Yes Inn in Veracruz. And let me show you outside here, what's outside of my room. This is uh, Veracruz. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty nice. It's a nice city. Everybody's telling me it's a good town and that it's safe. Not that I'm gonna go anywhere, cause I'm not. So uh, I'm just gonna go, there's a mall actually right next door. So I'm gonna go over to that mall and get something to eat. And um, that's it. Uh, I think that <laughs> I just met some people over there and we were talking. Hey, so check this out. This is downtown Veracruz over there, but that's like the high end downtown. This is actually like the middle part of town. So like, you know, you want a decent hotel for like 60 bucks, you can get it around here. And then these guys over here on the beach are hooking me up. Uh, so, but if you go up there to where those buildings are, it's like it's only a little bit more. It's like 114 a night. But man, then you, you know, you, you're rocking with the high rollers. I'd rather be here with, with these folks, you know, the down to earth folks that really show you what's up and, and uh, turn you on to all the local stuff so quick that it's crazy. I mean, you know, you feel like you know everybody here and you've only been here like, you know, 15 minutes. <laughs> so anyway, Veracruz, it's very awesome, very beautiful. Here you go. There we is.
That is good. One of the coolest things ever. Thing. You can see my guy here. Show you guys what it's like. And I've always wanted to go on a ride on one of these. This is my first time. So I made it home. I'm stoked. Uh, my friend Rudy's coming to help me get to Guatemala City tomorrow. So uh, I'll film a little more later. I'm here in Guatemala on the island of Flores. This is an island in the middle of the river in the northern part of Guatemala called Peten, where the ruins are. Check it out. So this is an island. All these quaint houses here. If you got a house on this island, you're pretty freaking lucky. This is, this is just an awesome place. It's a really small, Island. Look at some of these houses on even on the other side right on the beach. They're beautiful. This is a gorgeous place. Show you guys. Show you guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Show you a little bit more in a bit. Central part of the island. It's surrounded by every town. The town I was born in. There's a central church and a central park. It's a central park. 